Kia tahuriake ki te whutu pōro riki. Aha koa te kapatama toa kāri i angi tūra i roto i te whiringa toa o te NRL. I nā te whakainati tonu o rātou kai tautoko me o rātou whānau ki a rātou. I mauake i a Kāli Hemopo tetahi o rātou toki a Lance Hohaia me tōna whānau fifita ki te riki. Ah, it's good to be home. What's it like getting back to normal? Definitely nice to be home. Um, sleep in my own bed again and um, yeah, I've got a bit of time to myself now, so looking forward to putting my feet up for a little while. Is that a Lance Hohaia special? It's a uh, chicken, cheese, hummus and may mayonnaise sandwich. Um, are you allowed to eat that? Yeah, you I are am, now. I am now because I'm on holiday, <laughs> but um, no, it's pretty healthy and uh, it doesn't take much to whip it up, so um, yeah, nice to be uh, eating a bit of home cooked food again. It's home to roost for now, but this time last week it was a different story. It's on the 2011 Grand Final in the NRL between Manly and Last the week's NRL Grand Finals held huge expectations for the nation, but none higher than Lance Hohaias. Deep to the left, they go to the right. Hohaia Dance is still alive. There it is, no it isn't. Oh, goodness gracious. It was a hard-fought battle, the Warriors scoring only in the second half. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor scores! But at the final whistle, the Warriors just couldn't pull off that elusive win. And for Lance to make both Warriors Grand Finals makes his leaving that little bit more gut-wrenching. You must feel like you have unfinished business though because you're the only Warrior who's ever made it to both Grand Finals and twice the Warriors were unable to clinch that win. Yeah, it's probably uh, one thing missing you know, from my time as an NRL player is a, a Premiership title but um, you know, there are plenty of players that go through their career you know, not achieving that but um, I guess you know, with the Kiwis having a World Cup and uh, medal and a Four Nations medal that uh, that kind of makes up for it. So I'm happy with those two. I think you, above all the other players, uh, must have felt most the most pressure because you've been there before. Oh, I loved it. I thought you know it was um, you know one of the best weeks of my career. Um, you know, I really enjoyed obviously you know my last final moments with the lads and um, knowing that it was going to be my last game. I just um, you know I was happy. I enjoyed you know enjoyed. Uh, every day at training, uh, you know, all the all the um, days leading up to the game, and uh, yeah, spending all spending that time on the field with the boys was something I'll remember for a long time. And Lance makes no bones about where his climb to rugby league fame started. It was on this field that made him what he is today. This is the park that breeds the stars. Yeah, Davies Park, Huntley. Quite a few uh, uh, famous teams have been on there. The Great Britain side, French sides, Australian sides, various New Zealand players, all the representative uh, provincial players. All the games are played at Davies Park. Line Red Cup games are all there. And uh, of course, that's where the likes of Lance or Hire ran around as a little kid. <laughs> Even in the Taniwarau under-7s, Lance was a standout. And it's plain to see he was always destined for some sort of rugby ball greatness. Even if the haka is more of a rugby union trait. What is it about Huntley, or more specifically, what is it about Taniwarau that breeds champions? I think rugby league's always been in the blood of a lot of the... I mean, coal mining, freezing works, labouring type workers, and you know, you all sort of uh, gravitate to the same area and the same sport. Just down the road at Hohaia Place is the Lance Hohaia Memorabilia Shrine. A little white boy in the middle there. From family photos galore also, to jerseys and other bits and pieces. So we've got some more memorabilia in here? Yeah, yeah, the majority of the uh, memorabilia in here is of uh, Play of the Day awards and um, it's a mixture of New Zealand Rugby League and New Zealand Warriors. Right down the bottom we've got Lance's boots from um, his first year in the NRL, the ones that he wore in the 2002 Grand Final. And you've also got, this is interesting, this little part here. Yeah, look, Lance has had a few injuries over the years as, as players do and um, it's just a little piece of bone that had to be chopped away in, in his knee. So. Oh. Yep, there's nothing mum and dad haven't kept, and you'd be hard pressed to find bigger fans. Well, maybe. Champion, champion. 
whilst the Pano flew to Sydney to watch the game firsthand, Lance's Kuiya watched from Huntley. They said to me, don't get it, don't be afraid of being excited about you watching your, your grandson playing. And I did all thank you, because I do get excited. <laughs> Lance's contract with the Warriors ends next month and he begins a four-year stint with St Helens Club next February. He could be travelling to the United Kingdom as soon as December. Throughout your career you've only ever been a stone throw from your family. Do you think you'll be able to cope without them around? Yeah, I was obviously going to be hard to leave my family behind but um, you know, I'm yeah, really looking forward to um, you know, experiencing a new country and a new culture. And, uh, obviously, yeah, you know, sort of spreading my wings a little bit, I guess, on my own and, uh, you know, with the help of my fiancé. So, yeah, we'll be, uh, you know, we'll definitely miss home, but um, I'm sure we'll be OK and it's only a, a short period of time. As a father, you sort of, you know, you hope that your children do well uh, in, in the educational side of life and, and the work side and his sporting side has certainly given us a lot of highs, that's for sure, plenty of highs. <laughs>